Now, why though? I think we're fucking live, right? The frick now? Wait, hold on though. I gotta be quiet. People, yeah, we are, we're live, hey. Okay, let me just check the stream. Let me check my audio quality. Is that clipping horribly like it was before Michael saying something? Hello, I'm gonna talk for. Hello, this is the very positive stream. We remember it, so you don't have to. Ba 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 ba. Hello, I'm gonna Hello, test I'm those gonna levels now. Guys, how do the levels sound for everybody else? I know that last time my audio was clipping terribly and it was virtually unlistenable. Uh, so let's make sure we have a very positive, good time. Um, and that everybody can um, hear us. Michael, keep talking for me. Would you do me a favor? Yeah. Would you go um, ahead and do me a favor and just keep speaking for me? Hello. 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 I'm testing my I'm level. I'm going to rely on the chat. I'm going to rely on trusting the chat here. Yeah. We'll get it right in the beginning. You know what, Michael? I'm 100% with you, big guy. I think I'm agreeing with you. Someone just said, okay, this is epic. Yes. Can't agree more. Hmm. Alright, what's everyone saying? Everyone's just saying cool stuff. I'm loving it. It's putting me in a good mood. Yes, I was in a bad this. mood. I'm not gonna lie, 10 minutes ago I was in a rotten mood now. Seeing all you beautiful people talking. You know what, Michael? It's making me feel good. Look, I think I'm with you. I think I'm with you. I was in a sour mood about two hours ago, you know. Can I just say, yeah. uh, hooray life, basically? You, you know, this is the positive stream, so you absolutely can. Um, I don't need drugs. Uh, I don't need any kind of crazy, wacky, mind-altering substances. All I need is my friend and my, my little commenters talking. Well, you, well, you continue that. Well, you continue to say a positive type of crap. Go, go ahead here. I feel like Zach, you're probably a little bit too quiet. Oh, do you think I'm too quiet? Uh, Is that what the freaking chat said? Well, not. I don't. The chat chat's not saying it so much. I'm listening to it. See what that sounds like. It Yeah. Does that sound good? When I, when, right. when I, when I go, yeah, yeah. does that sound good? When I go, yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think we're good. I'll turn myself down just a tad, just a tad. Okay. Just a little tad. Loud keyboard. Uh, yes, I do type loudly. I'm kind of an expert typer. That's kind of my biggest trait. Guys, what are you up to today? <laughs> Zach is quiet. quiet. Yo, you yeah. quiet. Zach is quiet. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna turn myself up to here, and if this gets too loud, or if it starts clipping, you guys know what that means? So basically, if my voice sounds like it's having a lot of peaks, uh, tell me so I can fix it. I like... Make sure your mouth is right on that little microphone, too. Is it? Was it on there? Are you, are you, is, that, is that a real, is that a real, is that a real suggestion or is that like a, like a jab or something? No, I'm, no that's real. That's a real okay. thing. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was like a negative type jab or something. No, or... no. Okay. I don't know why you're thinking I'd be going this is, to this like is too loud? Oh my god. Fuck this. Okay. Uh, fuck, fuck these people. Fuck you. you know fuck what? off. Hey, you know what? Get fucked. Hey, you know what? You give me any, you give me any uh, negative feedback, you say anything bad about me, you're fucking out. You're out of here. I I'm not everything fucking I said around. before, everything I said lies. People come in here for fucking fun, for uh, funny type stuff. And you're sitting here giving me negativity? Get the hell out of here. Unbelievable. Some guy said, please draw a David Smedley, which is a fake uh, name, by the way, fake evil name. Uh, says, draw, uh, please draw a Hindu. I don't know what that means, if that's sort of like an Apu type thing. Uh, okay. You know what that means. No idea what that means. Yeah, that's nuts, it's right. No, that's not, that's nothing. Um, so we're gonna start drawing stuff. Um, we'll take some suggestions from the chat, obviously. Um. By the way, a lot of people asked last time, will Michael Cusack uh, draw one of these streams? Yeah, I, I would not um, be opposed. I mean, no one did ask that, but uh, yeah, I think I, I was going to say I was liked... actually just going to bring that. I don't think anybody's even said anything close. <laughs> there to was that. not no one person did ask that question, but uh, I thought I'd address that that hypothetical question. I think people were uh, thinking, maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe I, I think someone did probably did think it. Maybe one of these days I'll draw, but for now, we'll just watch Zachary. This is a new character developing. 
Let's look at some of the crazy comments. Yeah, let's see what my fave people there's, in the whole wide world are saying. Back. If there's any technical issues, please say something, people. Now, folks, this is what I call a warm-up il illustration. You know what that means? Means it's just to keep you know keep me going, just to sort of get my hand you know even drawn in a day. This really this really gets stuff going here. See this? You know what this is? It's my OC. I think you've drawn Homer Simpson on every, every single damn stream, my friend. Michael, I think you're right. I'm not even kidding about that. But, but, where you're wrong is, I haven't drawn a mystery yet. This is not Homer Simpson. This is, again, a new character. What are your thoughts on the passing of Stan Lee? Someone says. Uh, my thoughts? I, I'm not a huge comic fan. I mean, you a Marvel guy? I don't, you don't come across to me as a big comic guy. No, I, I I watched I watched an amount of the Marvel movies. I watched uh, watched Ant Man. I watched Age of Ultron in theaters. I mean, I um, uh, that's the newest one that came out, right? I'm not, sure, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even being like too cool. I actually don't know. Age of Ultron is the newest one, the, the third Avengers, right? The no, no, the the new the newest. Oh, one Infinity War. No, no, Infinity you're War. right. Infinity War is what I saw. Yeah, I um. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it sucks when anybody dies, I guess, unless they're uh, uh, like a child molester or something, right? It's probably not too good when anybody fucking, their brain stops working. I don't know if I could give a sincere, like, read on, on how I reacted. I went, oh. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to lie. When I brought up, I brought up, because I brought it up to you, I think you were the first person I said, oh, my God, a legend, a a living legend has just passed away. You did, and I think you, you say, said something. You said something. I think you said so what. It was something like no. So I, no what I think I said. I, I think care. I said that's that's not. Well, I think I think what I said. Um, yeah, I think looking back, I think pretty sure what I said was something to the effect of like, oh man, he, what a legend. Like I think he's a legend too. No, no, I think it was completely. It was like it was you quite think, negative. You think it was different. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I know. It I was something I, like so. I don't care, or or I'm glad he's dead, or something like that. Definitely not. Would, have, would definitely definitely would not have been that. If that makes sense, I would definitely go kind of say, say that kind of stuff, like negative type stuff like that. So that's I, that's how I remember it. But I guess whatever. Um, I like that little character. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's you know, I think it's sort of respectful. Um. Now this is my trip, you guys. I'm gonna. Can somebody please get this tattoo on their leg? <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. Um, I'm actually gonna use the restroom. Michael, would you do me a favor? Would you would you read the chat for a second here for a moment here? I'm just gonna start sipping my coffee. Aww. And 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 guys. Throw some suggestions. If you see the same type of suggestion, if you see somebody recommending Shrek 50 times, let's try to draw something simple or unique. We can even draw a whole new character. Just just throw some suggestions in the chat, though. Actually, Michael, if you could do me one real favor here. We're getting some of these donations, uh, unless they say a horrible uh, racial slur that'll get us banned off of, <laughs> off of uh, YouTube. If you could rattle through at least a, a few of those, and I'll, I'll come back and I'll, I'll do them this up. All right, guys. Now, nobody listen to me, PP. I'll be real upset. That's all I said. I hope nobody can hear me going pee inside my ceramic toilet. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Okay. I hope nobody heard that. I hope uh, I just went to the No, it's alright. I was, I was talking over those. Yeah, thing. good, because I, like, I really tried to make sure I was being yeah. quiet. You know, nobody heard. No, it's fine. Yeah, thanks. No, it's thanks. Good. Appreciate it, Definitely wouldn't. No one would hear that private moment. That yeah, yeah no, that was, that was actually um, totally private. Yeah. Yeah, it was very. Yeah, yeah no, that was totally. a real thing. No, draw yeah, a yeah. sexy, positive yeah. furry boy. Um, I don't know what that is. I'll try to draw a, a sort of anthropomorphic. Let's draw an OC. Let's draw a furry OC. I don't, I don't mind that idea. That... Can, can someone explain Hindu? I feel like that's some kind of racial. That seems something. super like, like especially post. I'm getting bad vibes. Post from that Apu? No thanks, dude. Sorry. Yeah. Draw angry monkey in, with in, gun. In, in 2018, no thanks. Uh, Master Beta. I think that refers to like a beta male character. Says, please draw a family man chillaxy after a hard week on the job. Just take it. I like that. So we got. That's good. So we got a furry. Uh, hey Zach, can you tell my best friend Tyson Sellers hi? I'll say that. I'll say hello to your friend there. Hello, Tyson Sellers. Now, if that turns out to be a school shooter or something or a terrorist of some sort, <laughs> I'm gonna get my head in this face palm. So hopefully that's actually a real character in Ohio or something. And not I hope it's a school shooter. Why would you hope that? That'd make me look really silly. Ho wait, Holiday Al says, will you make an AM radio station with me where we make old? Man sounds for two hours and play the that. Eagles song for every 30 hey. minutes or so. Draw what you think an AM radio roach host well, would sound like. I don't know what a roach host is. I don't know what a roach host is. I don't think that... that sounds those like, words have never perhaps, been stringed like together, weed, I don't Perhaps think. like weed related. What I will draw... What do the guys suggest? A, a family man chillaxing? I'll draw a family man chillaxing. Um, right, let's give this guy a name, Michael. This is this is a pitch to Comedy Central we're going to make. It's called Family Man Chillaxing the Show. Now, I feel... I feel like this guy, this design would be kind of boring. It wouldn't be too interesting. You know what I mean? You can't go too crazy. It'd be a bit derivative uh, of like, you know, like a brickle bear. What, what's, what, would you, what would you call the definition of chillaxing? Is that like a big fat, like a big fat cool joint? Oh, uh, yeah, this guy's, this guy's, uh, this guy's a believe in that kind of stuff. Um, I do think though that maybe this guy would, you know, he would maybe think like watching a cool movie would be chillaxing maybe. Yeah. He's a pretty simple. He lives a simple life. He doesn't need much to please him. It sounds. The art style could be. He doesn't be... need drugs. Maybe just a good book. Yeah, this guy loves good books. Yeah, definitely. Now this again, the style, art style could be too offensive because it's you know it's a it's a cartoon. It's gonna look a little bit like Family Guy, but not too close. You know what I'm talking about? Someone said, uh, Toaster said, I messaged you on Tumblr and you encouraged me through college. You messaged me apologizing for the late, resp uh, late response, but you made me smile. Thanks. Oh, well, I, 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 I'm not going to do a bit. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I, I, try, I try to respond to everything. I'm not just being virtuous. Like I try to get back to all the fan mail. Um, I'm not Mr. Rogers. I don't fucking wake up at 5 a.m. to do that. But if I get an email or something, I, don't, I always try to respond to it. Um, unless it just says, like, the word bitch or something, or somebody says you're like an asshole or something. That I, that I, that I, I but even those I respond to. Sometimes. This guy is, by the way, this guy's chillaxing. I think, uh, I think this show would get three seasons on Comedy Central, I think. That sounds pretty good. Actually, that guy's, I that think we could find for let's, more. Let's make him, I think, I think we should do a character who's chillaxing, but, but he, he's always looking at the camera. Yeah, could we give him a bit of a more of a smirk? Is that because he seems like he's neutral or even sad there? Well, I'm gonna let's this this is a new character. I do like the idea of a smirk. His name is David, I think, or he goes he goes by Davy, I think. But his birth Davy, his, his yeah. birth name is David. His right eye is blind. He can't see it in that eyeball. It's really uh, yeah. We don't we don't make jokes out of that. Nobody says like, hey, blindo. No, that's a that's a real sore spot that yeah. Well, this, no one really no, brings up. This character up. is really actually hurt by that. Nobody nobody ever says, "Hey, yeah. fucking monkey eye." People really try to leave him alone over that. Yeah. Um, the people closest to him too have just become so used to it that they don't even notice it at all. So yeah, it's, and it becomes a thing when anybody brings him. it up that they doesn't know him immediately to the people that he knows. They actually are surprised. Yeah. Like, oh, we you know we're used to it. Like it's you you do get used to. You do get used to it's, it is strange because it's particularly grey and washed out and freakish looking, but yeah, you no, do, it's really not, after a while, get used to the it. The milky eye is really not a good look. No, God, no. If you, <laughs> it really does look like it's it's um, diseased or something. Like It feels like you can get something from a milky eye if yeah. you get... Well, because it doesn't look like it's genetic. This guy, it looks it's like you got it like in his yeah. 40s or something, which is like, did, did you... Is it like a cataract that you can get fixed easily? Or yeah. is it some sort of... You know what I mean? Like... 
That's alright, you're not gonna catch anything, it's alright. It's fine, you can... You can look, but, you, you, but don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I come in peace. He says I come in peace a lot, it's kind of like his joke, but nobody... It never, yeah. it never lands. Yeah, he... he... <laughs> He tries to brand it after the milky eye to try to get some kind of to monetize his unfortunate disease and uh This is my horrible edition of him pointing at the camera. This is him going like like hey, like he points people and goes, Hey, what's up man? He's got black fingernails. <laughs> Cause I don't want to redraw it, so he's got black fingernails. This guy definitely He looks like he lifts too. That guy's definitely a lifter. He, I think, I think he was definitely a lot like a, you know, like a linebacker or something in the high school. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think every once in a while he tries to, tries to go now. But he kind of like yeah. pointed at the camera and go, "Hey, you need to touch my monkey eye today, not yesterday, not five days from now, but today, touch it." Touch my milky eye, is that what he says? Yeah, I think he's like trying to embrace it, but he, like all oh, of the weird guy, he tries to like freak people out before they can get scared of him. Like, he likes the control, you know what I mean? Like he gets, Do you he, feel like that's something, he if he gets very comfortable, maybe he's gotten a beer or two in him, that's when he starts to really address it, and he says, look, I know the elephant in the room, the milky eye, you can touch it. You can, hey, babe? He says babe a lot, which really is not cool. Yeah, even, 99% of the time he's talking to Star Wars fans, he's talking to guys, he's talking yeah. to nerds, and he calls them babe and sweetie, and it's... That plus the milky eyes, that's probably weirder than the milky eye, actually. Also, the sick, this guy's part of a bra his brain sticking out, which he's put a glass over. A part, you know what I'm saying? Like a part of glass over his brain. Yeah. Can you So you can see the brain through the yeah. glass. Yeah, yeah. So, like <laughs> so this is a chillax family, man. This guy is, he's, he's also leading on. He's leading a little boy with progeria. This guy never has a speaking role in the show. Uh, I feel like he became more chillax too after the Milky Eye. That made him reassess his life. Like before yeah. that, he stressed yeah. out about meaningless. So he's what's he leaning on there? Oh, that's a little progenitor child, like I said. Oh, he's leaning. I see. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the um, he's like the character who gets beat up every episode. So this is it. This is the chillax guy. I think um, he's got kind of a bad attitude. This guy, but he's but it's kind of a cool maybe gets maybe get some detail on the milky eye. Zoom in and we can see that more. Yeah, I think um, I think definitely be sort of like he doesn't like really take care of it either. That's just sort of he neglects it in a way. He's definitely blind. he neglects it to try to make. He, is it is that him trying to make it like more cooler and epic? Like well, I I don't I don't know. It. it just it just that that is the bad part. The the, the fact that it it, it noticeably. Stands out more or less. Okay. So that's him. That's I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't think that was even a request. What the fuck was the request? Oh, furry character. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Cunty Cat says, "Can you draw a witch doctor slapping a nude person?" Oh, with witch doctor. Isn't that together? typically uh, sort of an African character? I don't want to step <laughs> on that territory. I haven't heard. The, I haven't heard the term witch doctor in yeah, about that, that's, uh, at least seven yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is YouTube, buddy. This is not uh, not HBO. You can't really get away with any sort of. Uh, Let's let's keep let's let's keep it PG. I mean not PG. We could be guys if we're feeling really spicy. If a few of us have a couple uh, of uh, of Mike's Hard Lemonades, we can keep it PG thirteen if we get crazy. Hey, this guy says, uh, okay, Ben Jam says, please draw a regular c citizen from Chernobyl. Thank you. A regular citizen. Do you mean like an affected citizen from Chernobyl, or just yeah. someone that lived in Chernobyl and moved away before the incident? I think I think this is a guy who fucking definitely lives there now. I met someone that um I met someone that lived through the Chernobyl disaster and they were deformed. And they were showing me pictures of what it, what they looked like oh, when they were all what, melted what mean, up. What do you mean they were deformed? They were like that. She was like slightly mutated. Uh, it was at a pool party. I actually she said, don't believe um, this, Michael. I think this is uh, no, no, it's true. No, no, this is this is a true story. In what way? It was it was like a it was like a douchey Hollywood party too, and it was just some girl that was there, and she was like, "So guess what I lived through?" And I was like, "Uh, I don't know, this, or what?" And she said, "Oh, the Chernobyl disaster." And then she pulled out pictures of her, uh, like as a young person, she was a full-on mutant. 
So and she was she, a baby? At the time, she was a baby when it happened? Yeah, when she was a baby, she was like a red baby. She looked like oh, a red, Harlequin baby. Is she a red baby? She, was a, she looked like a pink red baby. Now, like, she was like 20 when I met her, and her skin looked like it was like scar tissue, but... She, show, she was showing me like Are you sure she wasn't just regularly baby. before that she was lying about it to, instead of just being embarrassed and saying Well that's what I thought for a while but um, she uh, then she started speaking Russian and doing stuff like that she was proving it in those kind of ways so it, it seemed that like it would be a weird lie to come up she with just, She knows Russian and she's like you know what instead of just saying I have shitty genetics I'm just going to say that <laughs> Wouldn't that that'd be a pretty cruel prank from from a girl really too? A prank. She's maybe she may well be embarrassed by by the fact that oh her music her, like her ugliness. She's just blaming it on a yeah, horrific that's disaster. A, that's, a, that's a sweet like superhero backstory. So it may have just been. So where, where is she getting pictures of little babies of her as a red? No, that, red that was that, no, no, she was the red baby. Oh, the, okay. Why was she? So she was just a harlequin baby for no reason. Just genetics, yeah. And then, but she said like, Ooh. "That's a shame." Yeah, 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 yeah. What a lying bitch. Yeah, that's really negative. Yeah, we should probably keep that kind of stuff off. Okay. Of, yeah, but no, we'll, we we will edit that out. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that in post. I fucking love that little horn. Well, this is uh, this is my furry character. People are asking. He's saying meow. <laughs> <laughs> Meow, look at me, look at my tail. This is fucking cool. This is actually really cool. Guys, if Ugh. you if you wanna like license this out or use this, uh you gotta pay to Michael and I. Uh this is cause this is This guy may get his own spin-off. Um I, oh, That's God. very cool. I love the sort of I love characters like that stuff. And I think, no, this character, his, this furry character that's mine now, this is my own. Blood Money says, hey Zachary, have you heard of the band Death Grips? If not, I... you should check them out. Have... They rock. I have not. Is it like, what is it? I'm assuming it's some kind of death metal. I can't imagine that's like rock. No, it's like, um, you know? like alternative hip hop. Oh, but, and he also says, uh, but anyways, draw a Chernobyl fish if you get the chance. What's the Chernobyl? Is that like a relevant thing today? I think somebody heard Hindu's us talking. in Chernobyl. I think somebody heard us talking about it and thought it was fucking cool. An epic? Yeah, I think that's the case. This guy, this guy loves picking apples, picking fucking raw apples. It's not, it's not, oh. I know it's not really like a furry trait, like like picking. Is this a, him at cons picking apples, yeah. or is this him out in the wild, like in the no, woods? No, this is him outside of. This is him. And like it's not even really a furry con either, by the way. He just sort of goes to like, like Magfest and like you know anime conventions and sort of just because everyone else is sort of dressed up. And this is his, <laughs> this is his <laughs> only real opportunity, to, you know, sort of um, express himself. So he just he, you're saying he goes to like Magfest and stuff like this. Goes out, finds the closest apple tree to pick apples, but yeah, yeah, doesn't and interact he'll, well, he'll sort with of like the look around. He'll sort of like you know he'll he'll do this thing where he'll kind of like. Meow, meow, and he'll look around back and forth just to see if anybody notices that he he's kind of an off-looking character. Okay. Yeah. Why does he even bother going to the conventions? Why For attention. He just grow an apple tree. Uh, <laughs> he's tried. He lives. Uh, his his soil is just is really not give. It's giving him a really hard. <laughs> does it have good soil? It's got bad soil. Yeah. Poor guy. Yeah. No. He's... Let's help out this. Let's help. What's his name? Um. Uh, Bilson. Guys, let's help out Bills and let's all donate to get can we him serve, some can we, can uh, good soil. Can somebody ask for like $700,000 on uh, Indiegogo or like a GoFundMe, I mean? Because that's genuinely really sad. This guy's flying across the country going to cons all over the damn uh, yeah. nation just to pick just apples. To pick apples. Yeah. If, that's sad. Yeah. No, this is not the America that I grew up in. I don't know what this is. That's still the American dream. This is not America. Something's right changed. No. I'm not kidding. Looking at this makes me queasy a little bit because this character should have all the, all of the institutions that he needs. And there's a big apple right there. That he needs not picked, but I'm sure he will. Knowing, uh -huh. knowing, Bil hey, you know what? Knowing Bilson, he will pick these fresh apples up there and over there. Hey, knowing Bilson, and I think yeah. you and I know Bilson. Yeah. Something's gonna get done there. So, I think some apples, these apples are gonna be picked. Hey guys, for those who can't see it, these apples right here, 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 basically there, here, here, here. They're gonna get basically picked. every apple you can see. Every, yeah, every every apple you can see. 
Draw a tribute to Stan Lee, says Ian McBones. Well, Ian, you missed the first part of the stream where I drew this. That, that, is, that is dedicated to Stan Lee. Or as I call him Stan Lee on a first name basis. So there you go. So. Um, now, we're gonna, I'm going to title this. So, you know what? I was going to put a space between big and day, but that's what it's called. Bill says big day out. So that's... Um, and then you have like a person, for, like, you know, a convention going. The Let's just sketch a convention going in yeah. the background here, you know. You could run with that as a series, actually. Every episode, a new convention. Yeah, he goes to new conventions every new episode. Apple. So, in fact, so this is a guy like... This is definitely a guy sort of This is a beautiful woman dressed up as Mario. <laughs> Some, I don't know what someone said uh give Bilson a disease. <laughs> uh we could definitely do that. So it's so unspecific. I love that. Just a, this is, is a, anything? This is a no, this is a woman dressed as Mario. She's got like a... Let's just say that he's got he's got a disease. Yeah, without even gonna say, you know what? Here's what we'll do. Um, uh, because I like that idea. He, he he got blood work done recently, and you're saying how the hell do we know that he's got a cotton swab right there, my friend, with a piece of tape over it. You got blood mm. drawn right on that arm right there, so that's how we know. No. You got that done about six hours ago, okay? Yeah. Actually, I guess the cotton swab would it be up by that. Yeah, I guess they do tape it on. Yeah, they either do that or they do. A bandaid. So that's a little blood. That's a little blood spot right there. Um, I think that's solid, man. I think this is a really. In fact, the only thing I need to change here is this Mario figure is actually sort of lower. Here, there we go. He's he's getting some. Bill's is getting some really really sour looks here from these sort of jealous convention goers that his costume is so cool. Uh, but little do they know, it's actually a costume. It's actually just Bilson. That's his DNA. So that's a very creative idea. I like that. It's very cool. I like that. Yeah, that's very interesting. Draw uh, Stanley being cremated by the human torch. That's pretty disrespectful. That's not really positive at all. No. Zachy, please draw the week. Do some sort of jig or dance. Says uh, saucy for ten Australian dollars. With those, yes, I can. Um, by the way, of course, not all these suggestions are going to come from donations. Uh, those just tend to linger on longer because chat goes by so quickly. So let's draw uh, Luigi. Doing a, little jig. doing a jig. Yeah, very creative and interesting idea. Luigi. Luigi, I tell you. I'm working on it. Now he's doing the peanuts dance right here. I, I don't even know what that is yet. Oh, I see. Yeah. That was just scribbles to me at first. No, that's Luigi <laughs> dancing. Now, I think you've drawn, not including the stream, I think you've drawn at least at least six characters in the last three days doing the Peanuts dance. Yeah, so the, in, the, the, in some the, shape the audience doesn't know that, but Michael has, I think this may, yeah, this may at least be the third character I've, yeah. I've drawn. Um, because we work together, I'm so lucky to see. Yeah, you get to see my creative process. Uh, some little intermediate drawings, and I think, have you watched Peanuts lately? Why is this floating around in your head? Uh, I don't know. I think it may actually be some sort of uh, tick or spasm, or I don't know. I'm mean, being honest with you, I actually don't know. Um, okay. I've been having, I've been sort of getting dizzy a lot easier lately. I don't know if that's related or if that's sort of, um, you know, tangential, you know what I mean? If that's just sort of a... If it, well, the only reason I ask is yeah. definitely before the first Peanuts drawing you did, the first of the, the bunch. Of many, yeah. you'd never mentioned Peanuts no, before or um, even drawn anything. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, again, I think it may be related to the headaches and the migraines and the sort of hot flashes. Already. Sure, yeah. The dizziness, I don't know. But anyways, that is definitely Luigi doing his cool dance or jig. I'd call it a jig. I wouldn't call that call that a dance. I'd say I I would, I would actually disagree a little bit. Just say it's somewhere in between. Actually, yeah, jig, jig's a little bit more happier, isn't it? Yeah, it's sort of, yeah, it's a little. It's, it's you know, it's a very quick uh, dance. More arm act, arm action too. Yeah, his arm, well, his arm's really... like up there if you're looking, if you're seeing that. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely seeing. That. 
Okay, friends, what is the uh, the happiest Give frog him a ever? Well, uh, yeah. Okay, I can draw a different draw a happy frog. Oh. <laughs> the medical term is the peanuts tumor. I think I've heard that before. Yeah, I've I've definitely heard that. On wiki, I think I've seen the wiki page of that somewhere. My happy frog. Uh, in fact, if somebody feels cheated on that happy frog, I can draw another one here. I feel pretty cheated on that. Here. He has no limbs. Because I feel like this is definitely right here. This to me, when I think happy frog, I think of this character. Does that make sense? Exceed says, can you give him Steve Buscemi giving him a supportive back rub? Uh, I, I wouldn't mind wrapping up with a, a certain caricature. I could do one near, near the end. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. The caricature is definitely... Uh, you know, what I would suggest is uh, maybe try to suggest that next stream early. Just only because we've got like actually less than 30 minutes now left. Yeah. This thing's far uh, here you go. So that's Hunty that's Cat a happy frog draw... right there. I think. What do you think, Michael? I think that's pretty happy, don't you think? I think I think he just needs to be green, and you've you pretty much wrapped it up. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do. That's a good. That's a good shade of green right there. I think. That's solid. Um, yeah. I'll just free that Cunty Cat because he has donated again. Draw a guy that has a bit too much confidence, saying, "If I told you what I did for work, I'd have to kill you." Also, he's in a wheelchair now. I'll, I'll take. I'll take. I'll take aspects of that. I'll take some. We'll, 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 we'll run with that. Uh, before I finish this frog, this is the saddest shit of all. And Buckley, I know you, you hate like... Oh no! You hate, no you, well, I know you, you hate death, you hate sad type stuff, and I know this is the positive stream. I do, I'm famous for hating death. Yeah, he, he, this guy, you show him a gravestone, you show him a skeleton, this guy freaking jumps through the roof, so don't ever like... So that's it, that's, he doesn't know who this is, this frog is sort of paying respects, actually. Um... You're sitting there scratching oh. your head. I know. And you're sitting there scratching your head saying, how the hell, or how on earth, if you don't want to swear, is this frog paying respects? Well, he's holding a single red rose. You always say, Michael, you always talk about the red rose. Well, there it is. Um, draw a little... It doesn't look like he's mourning too much. It looks like this. he's probably been doing this for the last 12 years or so, and it's just become the daily thing. this is sort of like an anniversary. He sort of goes here like almost daily. It's part of his routine. But it seems like this seems more of a chore to him. He looks like he's yeah, yeah, he, almost he does look, like, he looks not like pretty it. sort of bothered by this, yeah. He looks reluctant. He looks reluctant to even give that rose up. He, it looks like he wants that I rose. I think he wants to take a bite of that rose. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, what is it? An overly confident character? Yeah, everyone press F for that little, for the sad scene right here. I think it's a good idea. So what the chat said it? That's good. So what do we draw here? The overly confident character. Stiffy Pig Smell says, donates 15 bucks. Thanks for that, man. He says, please draw a red M&M. Uh, I can... Uh, also, any plans to do a split screen so we can see Michael draw too? For sure. I think we'll set that up in a little a later date, but that's definitely something on the, uh, on the radar. The red M&M. I'm going to draw it from memory, but I think he's something... He's a peanut, right? Um, I don't know. I think they're just both the normal M and M's, right? I think I think the red I think the blue I think the blue M and M's the the longer one. Oh, I'll Google this. Yeah, I would actually really appreciate that. M and M characters, zany. Colorful M&M &M characters. Oh. Um, yeah, no, the red one's the circle one, and the yellow one's the long one. The long one. Which one is the um, the blue one? Or the red one, I'm sorry? I, don't, I actually have no idea. I, I don't know the M&M &M lore. I just know that the, the red and yellow one are seen together a lot. So this is... Are there more characters? Yeah, I think there's a red character. This is my version of the red guy. Yeah, I think the red red guy's the main one. 
I think this. I think the red guy's been sort of trying out a goatee. If that makes does that make sense? He's just giving it a go and seeing if anyone comments on it. Yeah, like he like he knows he can't yeah. grow full beard, but he's definitely like, okay, yeah. I'm gonna grow what I think I can grow. He's been on bodybuilding.com a lot and seen people talk about T levels a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, he's really he's insecure about like, his, he's, uh, he's, his jawline. He's pretty rogate on his facial hair to see if it like thickens out a little bit. He's just kind of experimenting around with yeah. stuff. He, he, Give he me a knows, go. Yeah, he's, he knows it's, it's a bit patchy, but he, you know, he's trying. Yeah, it's a phase. It's, it's a phase, yeah. He knows, he'll like, probably go back. No, the evidence, do they have the big M on their fucking body or whatever? It doesn't matter. This is definitely. And I feel like. He knows he should be working out too, by the way. He's sort of. He's slimmed down. He was chubbier. But he was like, okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go straight from chubby to like ripped. I'm gonna try to lose some weight first before I start. Yeah. He's cutting, yeah. He's cutting. That's absolutely right. We're down with the uh, bodybuilding.com lingo. <laughs> That's garbage. But I think he's just, I think right here he's just sort of listening to somebody else talk. He's waiting to interject. He's, 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 he's like, he's, he wants to get onto the topic of, uh, like testosterone and he wants and to see he wants to say looks, but... yeah, somebody else is talking and he wants to say something to the victim. oh yeah no it's like i'm trying to go at this goatee and, yeah uh, he wants to just... he's not so socially awkward enough to just bring that up out of the blue he knows he needs a lead of some he's sort to... so he's waiting for someone to say something like oh beard or or something masculine he can yeah, be yeah. like oh yeah well funny enough no he's he's hearing somebody else talk about like their clothes and changing their look and he's gonna go okay well you know He's thinking, could I make a joke about it? Probably not. I'd probably be a little bit too forced. Like, yeah, he doesn't want to be self -de He's trying to be less self-deprecating because he's noticing that's a pattern where he's yeah. becoming like the kind of the clown that everyone laughs at. He actually wants to be like the cool, he, he does, confident I, guy. I don't think he wants to be cool, but I definitely, yeah, he wants to be, he wants to be more confident, I think. He, he knows. I think he just wants to be perceived as like a Clint Eastwood type that's just, just yeah, that's his like ideal. a quiet confidence. That's his ideal. He knows it's going to be a little bit of work. That easy. Yeah, he knows there's a path. It's a path. It's gonna be, take a yeah. long journey to get oh, there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's not easy. So that's this is definitely him. Um, that's the red Eminem to me. Obviously, this little guy deserves some color in here. Let's go ahead and give him his iconic. Uh, his iconic sockies. His iconic socks. Yeah. Uh -huh. His his redness. I feel like his pupils would be sort of lighter, red like that. Not dissimilar to that. Um, uh, yeah, and I think that to me is the red m, &M. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's him. That he wants to wait for these other critters, little cartoon characters as they're talking to him. Okay. Did you say critters? Sorry? Did, uh, sorry, I just thought you said critters. No, I didn't. Let's draw a critter, Michael. What do you think about that? I'd love, I'd like to see a critter. Now, describe... In three words, just three single words. You can't do like hyphenated words, but so three single words. Okay. Um, zany. Okay. Wacky. Okay. Oddball type. A bit redundant. So that's that's it. Those are three words: zany, wacky, oddball. <laughs> sort of the same words yes. said over different ways, but let's see. Well, yeah. I mean, there's nuances in the difference of definition there. I would I mean, say I an oddball know. isn't quite zany. You well, know, I don't. I'm not saying I know for sure, but. So, I'd say that there's probably a little bit of a difference. I think right here, for sure, and you're going to see it in just one second here, but this is going to feel right to you, and I know it. That screams critter. I'm just gonna say it right now. Yeah. That's it. That screams critter in the woods, running from some type of impending danger, or at least just power walking away from yeah, it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, he's for sure. I think he's quickly. I think he's he's kind of confident in his ability to escape this danger. <laughs> he does this daily. It's just he. This may even be a regular walk. Threat. I don't know why. It may, it may not even be him running for danger. To tell you the truth. Even if he's going to get some milk or something, I mean, I don't know. He seems very confident yeah. in his the way he's walking. 
Are we, would you say his legs are muscly or fat? I think it's a little bit I think he was kind of a fatter guy. And now he's sort of, you know, lost a little bit, little bit of it. Not too crazy. Sure. I think, I think that's a damn critter uh, having a fun walk. Guys, critter or not, let's let's uh, get an opinion poll on that. Critter or not is the big question being asked press in America. One, press one if it's Across a critter. Plus two if, it, if that is nonsense to you. If that's white noise. If that's static to you. By the way, this is definitely uh, a blueish critter. Me Mega Killer X uh, donates fifty seckles and says, "What's what's your advice?" <laughs> Say so whatever that is. What's your advice for people with no talent, ambition in life? Um, do porn. I'd say record your penis, like shooting cum, and put it on you porn, like on the gay section. Actually, I don't, wait, I don't know how old that guy is. Uh, don't take that advice. I was gonna, assume, you, assume. Honestly, killing yourself is another yeah, option. Yeah, suicide just, or if, shooting. If it really is hopeless, I shooting there's... HD cum for you porn or kill you. So I think neither of those. Assuming you're Here's the genuine thing: you're gonna be dead anyway in sixty years. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's gonna fly by. Why not just do it right now? Yeah. 100%. Genuinely. No, yeah. Okay, look, really? The best advice no. is what well, you have to say you have no talent. Uh, what's this guy's name? What's this character's name? Um, he was, uh, uh, he was, uh, Mega Killer X. Okay, Mega Killer X. Um, let's see. I don't know. It's hard to say. Well, well, let me answer this in the chat. What, uh, what do you like to do? What would you want to do? We'll, we'll do. Well, this is this is Doctor Phil advice on Michael and Zach. We'll make it very brief. And Michael, actually, do me one favor, guys. I had a coffee before I started this stream, so I'm gonna take a little pee pee. But wait for that guy's answer if you can. Look in the chat there, and when he answers that, we'll give you some advice. and We'll move on with art. We'll talk over um that while you pee, so we don't get your private there. Draw that little four-inch mummy that smiles and t uh, takes people's cameras whenever they try to take a picture of it. I'll bring that up, Ellie. So what did this little character say? Um, which character? Oh, Michael, Michael, Michael! Uh -huh. Why did you not even? Someone said draw a four-inch mummy or something. Someone also said someone don- donated a yeah, hundred dollars. I've been trying to find that. Yeah, folks, these things are going by quick. Which guy did it? We'll give him a nice shout out here. I feel horrible. In fact, in fact, let's donate five bucks. Thanks for that, man. Uh, my good friend Cuddy Cat donates another five dollars. He says Zach was piss a lot. Uh, I do. Draw dark side Phil says Adam Hunt. I would I would be opposed to that. That's a quick one. I could probably knock that one out pretty quickly. Should we Should we address Mega Killer X? Uh, yeah, you know, before we do that, like cover that. Yeah. Uh, what's advice? If you don't think you're good at anything, man, uh, good 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 at something. Honestly, if you want to be good at something, it sounds like you're bringing it up because it sounds relevant. You know what I mean? Um, all getting good at something is is practicing it. It really, yeah. and honest to God, is nobody's good at anything. I'd say, birth. put your little cursor at the top right, exit out of this stupid, pointless, worthless stream, and practice yeah. some cool little talent and get better at it. Yeah, you will feel satisfied. Yeah. Well, do just like read or do do anything that makes you feel satisfied. Just if you um, if if you if you pick up it, whatever you want to learn how to do, if you practice it, you will do it. You honest to God will. 
And if you don't want to do that, then I would say go to college and spend a lot of money and then be a doctor or something. No, don't not go. To, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm saying if you, don't, if you don't stuff, want to do the yeah. art, if you don't do something in arts, you know, work yeah. in the arts. Definitely, you'll find it. And don't don't kill yourself. I was only kidding. Yeah, it was a joke. I was I was also, don't shoot, don't clear. shoot HD cum for you, point. Yeah, don't do anything. Yeah, don't do any That's bad all, things. all a bad idea. Every... Positive. Po all positive. I think that was good. Or oh, someone uh, apparently the guy who donated a hundred dollars to draw Harry Potter. I will draw my funny Harry Potter, of course. Um... Yeah, I think that's a good one. And a hundred dollars. That's Hello. that's get your bang for your buck. I forgot what it, I'm gonna try to draw what his avatar looks like from memory. Uh, he's got like a disgusting... Uh, you mean you mean the the girl? Isn't doesn't he have like a different yeah, character as his like avatar? The one from like 2010. Oh, like... I see. Yeah, with the, with the yeah. one eyelid up. Yeah, always like disgusted. I hate how I remember like 2010 avatars of YouTubers. That that shouldn't that should just fleet your brain. Did you ever have cringy? Uh... Oh yeah. Yeah. YouTube avatar. I'm, I'm remembering some of mine. That was so bad. Does he really have a nose like that? I think his drawing is like that, yeah. I'm the, yeah, it's such as me drawing that. I think it really was like that. Uh, Mikey Squeeze asks, the worst thing a teacher has ever said to you? Um... That's a good question. I don't, I don't know if I ever had any teachers that were super, I had shitty teachers, I think, for sure. But I don't know if I ever had any teachers that were like, um, like, you know, sort of, uh, told me not to draw. You know what I'm talking about? I did. I had a maths teacher that would take my drawings and rip them up. Yeah, In front of the class. Yeah, she was like, she was like, she was like a teacher from Matilda. Here's my here's my Harry Partridge avatar drawing. This is not what Harry Hello! Hello! I love moving pictures. I love drawing drawings. I, I, if Harry ever hears this audio, Harry, feel free to do an impression of me on your stream. Um, I think you can do. That I don't way. think you can do a jokey impression of us. I feel no, like I feel we're pretty, we're cool. pretty okay. no, I feel bound. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I think it'd just come off as flattering, really. Yeah, my my voice. I think you can't make it a joke. It's pretty fucking sweet already. Here, there's there's Harry Potter uh, punching his girlfriend. <laughs> okay, there you go. Why is he doing that? I don't know, man. I just hear rumors. I hear shit spread around, man. You go to those damn forums. <laughs> you see what those forums write? I don't know. Okay. I haven't, I haven't heard any rumors. Like yeah, that. I'm just saying, like, stuff does crap up every once in a while. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Zach, say can't, uh, smash the ash for my senior quote. What do you want me to do? I don't know. What what do you, I think he's asking. Uh, Zach, is he asking me to give him a senior quote? He says, "Zach, say you can't smash the ash for my senior quote." Sorry, I might. I went blind for a second while reading uh, that. You can't smash the ash. It's, here's a better senior quote. You ready? Just write. Just write. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Just write that many times. There you go. <laughs> Draw a Fortnite creepy pasta for fifteen dollars. Well, thank you for the donation. We'll see if we have time for it. We only got ten minutes left. <laughs> you don't have to do this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, you know what? Chris Boys, I think I can draw very quickly. I'll draw him and DSP very quickly. I love Chris Boys, by the way. <laughs> draw my stepdad. His name is Dan, and he's a freaking Nimrod. <laughs> I, the, word, the word Nimrod, I haven't heard that in a long time. That's a good I think that should be brought yeah, back. back Nimrod. Here's Chris Boys. You bloody Nimrod. Ah, you fuck off, you Nimrod. Here's DSP. Wood? Hall? What is his face look like? Let me look. I just want to see if I can draw from memory. Hall? He looks like David Brent, I know that. Fuck. He's got a big hole in his fucking goatee. Are you guys not doing a show pitch anymore? I, I guess I completely forgot about that. Wait, oh yeah, let's, let's, wrap, let's wrap it up with that. We should do that, yeah, yeah. Hall? Thank you for reminding this is my DSP, that's my Chris Boys. Uh, uh Cro Croatia, man. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay.
Uh, Zach, give me something to draw for a warm-up, says Cheese, who also donates two bucks. Uh, thank you for that. And I would say, you want a good uh, warm-up? You should draw Chris Boris and DSP fighting to the fucking death. Do I have time to go to the bathroom before our little TV pit? Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go real quick, and I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll grab onto the uh, chat here and take a look. I feel like I never get to talk to you guys. You know, I feel like Michael's always talking to you, which is fine. I, I just feel like I've been a bit neglectful to the chat here. I'm sorry. This is, in fact, in fact, guys. I want to officially apologize for neglecting the chat. I'm sorry if I've been bad. I'm sorry if I pissed and you could hear my, my yellow piss hitting the toilet water. The music is too quiet, the joke is ruined. Wait, hold on, let's try this. One hour pure sadness. <laughs> okay, this all sucks. Anyways. What are you guys all up to tonight? What, the, what are the rest of you guys doing for the whole night? After this fucking awful stream wraps up. Thanks for the RA Gamer. Hey man. Thank you for the donation. Put on slow mode. How do I do that? They're calling it spiking. No, they're saying spike. No, they're call I wonder if I could do slow mode through the fucking thing here. Wait a minute. Can I really just play an ad? In the Wait, hold on. Let me try something. Does that actually play an ad? There's a, there's a huge button in my little thing that just says play ad. Let me refresh. What does that do? Is it, like, is it like I can put my own thing in there? Or is it like a fucking, like a Windex ad? Thank you for that giant uh, Japanese block of text. Okay, Michael, you are ready to uh, to do this little fucking show pitch? Yes, let's do it. I'm ready. Okay, Michael, what what what's a good what's a good idea? Um, okay, how about something like a concept that we can run with something like detectives, like a cop show or a or a legal show set in the court. Uh. Is that a bakery, a restaurant? Uh, I like bakery. I like the idea of like like book. Like, bakery. I like the idea of baking. I like the idea. Yeah, two guys, but the baking brothers. Yeah, ba oh, ba that... baking bros. I like that. Yeah, they they bake. Uh, I at feel like a bakery. I'm, I'm feeling big hands. I'm like you big the idea of big hands, like one. Big hands, a pummel flour. Um, it's questionable flour too because normal flour is like white and yeah. I mean everyone knows, but it's like it's this one's called like an off green. This flower, which they're known for, yeah, it's got an interesting taste. No one, it, no one really questions it, but it is, it is a bit odd. Yeah. Now this is definitely. One of the guys like loving the idea. Loving the idea of yeah. baking, uh, rolling some bread with these oversized hands. How long do you reckon they've been doing this? I would How long say, has this business been operational? I would say since 98. 98, yeah. I feel like they were like college dropouts too. They were, there was like a tech, that, it was like when, uh, like when the, they made Facebook, those kids, like they, these guys knew from the beginning. I feel like these guys... Crackpot I feel like these idea. guys constantly watch Steve Jobs announcing the iPhone, like that little speech he gave. Yeah, they watched that YouTube video over and over, and they said, "Oh, we can do, we can do something like yeah, that." Yeah, yeah, that dude. Like, I don't know what, but like, that's us. And like, they, you know, that yeah. part where he's like, a phone, an iPod, an internet player. They watched that about seventy. They couldn't believe that part when they saw that. They, yeah, yeah. They said <laughs> that, and then they 
watched it. They watched it a month later, and they were like, "It's okay, sure." Now everyone knows the what iPhone. That is. Then, but, but, yeah. it, that was really weird when that was announced. That was people. Can, We've got to do something like that. Yeah, we gotta like. I'm not. And by the way, my brother, my, my baby bro. Uh, let's look here. Do you think they're even brothers, or they just no. they both have they're called big the hands? Bros. So. Yeah, that was that name was branded on them against yeah, their they, will. Yeah, exactly. They were not. Uh, actually, they were enemies at first. Yeah. Yeah. I can picture them like different colors. Like maybe he's red. The other one's grayish. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say grayish, not quite gray, like off gray. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say off gray did come to mind at first. I, I chose not to speak that out loud. Which says white is one hand and four fingers. What is the other five? Uh, the thumb is sort of hid behind there. You know, you don't really see like that part. But don't worry, this yeah. this character's got this character's been in no accidents. He's okay. Yeah. So what's the conflict of this show? So it's cool. I'm liking Baking Brothers. Watching that. Um, I'm picturing watching that at home. But what's is there a villain? Is there something that yeah well, stops them from baking? The show. The sh here's what gets interesting. The show started in the year 2016. And this character on the right, the other baking bro. Me too. This character is caught up in the me, the me yeah, the me too craze. Oh, so it's it's very uh, it's a topical show. Yeah. So at first, you think you're just watching a silly show about two bros, two happy bros two, baking. Two baking bros, right? Now, yeah, two baking bros, but it gets into the, uh, the sort of the social climate of like stuff. yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the exactly post like Weinstein immediately. Yeah, um, important shit. Important, shit, important crap, yeah. Um, now, as you can see here. So does his brother support him, or is this is this the conflict he's on? He doesn't know. This is the conflict. He's, he's, dude, should, yeah. Dude, you should have fucking you know, stood up for me, yeah. man. And he's going, dude, we're the baking yeah. bros. I, I like, dude, my, we're... my passion is, is baking. Yeah, I, honestly, I... The news is probably going to brand me like I knew a lot of this the whole time. Yeah. To be honest, I knew nothing. I thought I saw you as like a hound dog. I saw you as like a ladies' man. I never in a million, I thought, million I thought years. I thought you liked sex and having sex and fucking people and yeah. stuff, but I didn't think. But my brother, my baking brother, I never in a yeah, million yeah. years thought that you would do something that rotten and evil. I never thought my baking bro could be so downright you know, rotten. That's exactly right. He, he, and he's laying in bed, and he's he's got his wife next to him. And he's thinking. And his wife says, "What are you gonna do? Be... What are you gonna do, baking bro yeah. number two? I don't know. I don't. I. Now this I is. Don't, him. I feel like the, I sh the responsibility shouldn't be put on me, but I do feel like I do have the weight of this on me in some way. There is definitely a guilt. Yeah, and by the way, pe since people in the chat are saying that, you know, there's all these wars being declared right now. We're gonna do this. Now this this is where the thing gets, you know, very very. This is this is basically the for, like a new Forrest Gump. Now in the background during twenty sixteen Brexit just happened. So this is a very oh, good, yeah yeah. Oh, so they get they get um, mixed up in a lot of the world events yeah, like that the happen. Yeah, exactly. These these yeah. breaking bros get. <laughs> In, in every single political issue of, from 2016 Now, I'm, I'm very interested how Brexit affects them. Um, Are they, uh... Well, he, this guy, this in guy, the this guy in the right kills himself. I see. Well, he's just... He's just uh, destroy, he was a... He was a Remain. He was say. a Remain, he was, yeah. He really... Yeah, okay. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> he was like, listen, the stuff with the NHS, it's all bull, bull crap, they're lying to you, it's all propaganda. You know, he thinks the, you know... Uh, he fucking hates Nigel Farage, which is fine, that's his views, but he just wants sure. to eat. So he, he kills himself episode two. Yeah, um... it's like, you know, you know in Breaking Bad season one, where they were like, in a, the originally they were going to kill Jesse off at the end of season one, and sort of leave Walter in this world of craziness, but the writer's strike happened, so they left yeah. Jesse in. So you're saying this is, this is if the writer's strike it didn't, didn't happen. happen. Yeah, this character is supposed to die yeah, in I season see. two, okay. yeah. And then we've got a whole season of the guy that's me too, just dealing with the legal <laughs> with uh, ramifications. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
you're dealing with the yeah actually the brexit thing never comes back because it's sort of him dealing with, with the, yeah well i guess the brexit is a, the is not only a big plot uh, device for episode two for him to kill himself yeah. brutally in his apartment with no, his wife really finding gory we, we hold on actually yeah no it's bad it's, it's really probably, fucking it's disgusting it's shockingly how that even was allowed to be on tv yeah. too yeah 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 so so and now of course as we said before We've got TMZ footage of this guy being slapped in restaurants. Yeah, uh, being spat on. Get out of here, you fucking pig! Told yeah. to leave. Yeah. Is he still baking? Is he coming back to bake bread? Or that's is the he... season finale. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, we'll tease that. Yeah, well, that's that's a, that's like a teaser for the, like the season two if we do it. So the show is called The Interesting Baking Bros. I think that's a good title. I think everyone would agree that's interesting too. No, that's super. The guy, the guy gets not. caught up like Forrest Gump and all these. Things? Yeah, that's insane. All right. Of, co of course, like baking said, we got Brexit. Okay, I think that's a wrap, you guys. Uh, as usual, let's go here. Let's play our outro song, the cartoon song. Um, thanks to everybody for coming. Thanks to those who donated. If we missed you out, we're sorry, but we do appreciate it. Um, and if you have any suggestions that didn't get picked this time, feel free to go next time. Write them down if they're crazy enough, and uh, um, yeah, we'll see if we can take them next time. All right. Bye, everybody. Okay, goodbye.